Linda, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that was started by Jen Loves Reviews here on YouTube, and this is going to be 20 of the best products from 20 brands in under 20 minutes. I'm just gonna go through a bunch of brands and tell you which products are my favorite from each brand. Now, I will say that on my list, I only went with brands where I've tried a bunch of products. I didn't wanna go with something where I've tried one product and really liked it, like for example, the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, because to be fair, I've tried one. Natasha Denona product and that wouldn't be fair to be like oh this is the best in the whole line because yeah it's the only thing I've tried. Before we get into my list hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I upload new videos every Monday around 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. For the people who've been hanging around a bit do you guys still like 10 a.m. on Mondays or do you think I should switch it up a little bit? I've been considering switching it to like Wednesdays at noon getting a little frisky here. Fill me in down below on what you think. Let's get right into this list. The first brand I want to jump into is one that I only sort of discovered really recently, but I've tried so many products from the line at this point, and that is Flower Beauty. And my favorite product from Flower Beauty is the Light Illusion Foundation. This foundation is amazing. If you like a light to medium coverage with a dewy finish, I am just obsessed with this. This is pretty much the best foundation I've ever tried. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna go out on a limb. It is my absolute favorite. It doesn't break down throughout the day. It does not oxidize throughout the day. For a drugstore foundation, I'm just blown away by this. I am in the shade Ivory L2. I already have two backups in my drawer because whenever Flower Beauty goes on sale, I stock up at this point. I love this foundation. Sticking along the drugstore pricing, my favorite product from Physicians Formula is, shocker, the Butter Bronzer. Now in the past, I had tried a whole bunch of Physicians Formula stuff from their face makeup to their you know little eyeshadow palettes, things like that, and every time I was really disappointed by it. Nothing really piqued my interest. So when all of YouTube started talking about the Butter Bronzer, I was like, yeah, that's gonna suck. And then when I went to Ipsy Gen Beauty this past year, I got one of these in my freebie bag and became instantly obsessed with it. I use this every single day and it looks like there's barely a dent in it because a little bit goes a long way. It stays on strong, it smells awesome. I just think that this is such an amazing product. It is such an amazing bronzer and you all need this in your collection, stat. When I went to decide what my favorite product was from NYX Cosmetics, this one was really easy for me. I know people have like a million products from NYX they love, and I have a bunch that I love, but nothing as much as this. I cannot tell you how many of these I have gone through. This is the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk, and it is a creamy white shade that I love to use as a base whenever I am doing a bright color. Because it is a little bit emollient, stuff sticks to it so well and it doesn't crease and it doesn't budge. I've easily been using this for like seven, eight years, maybe even longer than that. It's probably been like a decade. I love this. If NYX ever gets rid of this, we're going to have words. As you guys might have seen in a few past videos, I was lucky enough to receive some products from Collab, which is a line sold at Sally Beauty that was, you know, helped and influenced by a bunch of influencers here on YouTube and on Instagram, things like that. Their eyeshadow palettes are fantastic. The quality is really good. But my favorite product from the whole line is one that surprised me the most, and that is the Bold Faced Eyeliner. But Linda, this is just a black eyeliner. What's so special about it? Calm down, I'm about to tell you. This goes on your waterline and stays there all damn day. Before I discovered this, I was using MAC Feline Eye Coal, and the thing is, MAC is not a cruelty-free brand. Like, I was using up what I had, but I was getting really depressed because I was like, I'm never gonna find anything that stays on the waterline this well, and yeah, yeah, I did, I did. This is so creamy and so black in one swipe that, I, yes, I just went over that twice, you know what I mean. But it stays on, it does not go anywhere, where I just highly recommend this. It is very inexpensive, and I think Sally's is a brand that's accessible to most people. Just go, just try it, you will love it. A brand that's sort of fairly new on the makeup scene is Alamar Cosmetics, and I've gotten to try several of their items, mostly from BoxyCharm. Every single one is amazing. My favorite product, though, again, is one that surprised me, and that is just their plain flat shader brush. When I first got this brush, the instructions said that it was great to pack on eyeshadow, and I tried it, and I was like, well, that's actually shit, no. But then I had a bunch of people that said, try it for cutting the crease, and Oh my God, game changer. This brush with its rounded tip and its flat bristles is the most perfect brush for cutting the crease ever. 
it gets in there so precisely that you just, you barely even need to touch your eyelid with it. I love this brush for cutting the crease, for sharpening up edges, it's also fantastic. Don't sleep on the Alamar brushes. Sticking with brushes, you guys probably already know that I love Moda and Royal and Lang Nickel brushes. They are probably some of my favorite brushes out there. They are such high quality and the price point is so affordable in my opinion. But there is one brush that blows it all away for me and that is the BMX265 Glow Brush. What's funny to me is I got this brush completely on a whim because I was actually after this brush. The person at the Royal and Lang Nickel stand at IMAX when I went one year told me this was the best blush slash highlighting brush ever. And I wound up using it a few times. It's decent, but it came in a package with this and this, oh my God, oh my God. It is the best highlighting brush ever. And I'm gonna tell you why, sit down. Sit down. I feel like so many highlighting brushes throw highlighter everywhere. For me personally, I'll put some on and no matter how gently I do it, all of a sudden I'll find some highlighter down here or some that has sneaked in over here or up here, you know, things like that. This places it exactly where you want it and then is so good for buffing it out and it makes for a blinding highlighter. So what I suggest for this is gently dipping into the product and first tapping it onto where you want the highlight and then buffing it in with circular, circle, circular motions and it creates a blinding highlight and it is cheap. Also, I'm just saying, if you use code glitter fallout, you're gonna get a little extra money off. But still, even if you don't use the code glitter fallout, you're gonna get a great brush for a cheap price. Sticking with brushes, I also got the chance to try some brushes from MOTD Cosmetics. They are cruelty-free and they are vegan and they were all pretty damn good. But the Seamless Sheer Blend Brush is ace. This brush is just delightfully fluffy and it is so good for buffing out the crease. I use this every single solitary day. I love it also to blow out color really far out because it just, the tiniest, tiniest little motions make for a seamless sheer blend. That's the name of the brush, isn't it? Wow, good job, MOTD. Good job. Wow, doing all this in under 20 minutes is pretty hard, so I'm gonna speed it up just a scotch. I'm gonna move on to another category altogether. Let's talk about Dose of Colors. My favorite, favorite item from Dose of Colors of all time is the Fuego highlighter that came out with the Desi and Katie collection. This color is such a warm, beautiful gold that I just, I love. And I've seen this on extremely light skin tones. I've seen this on extremely deep skin tones. And I feel like it looks beautiful on everybody. And I don't know how that's possible with the highlighter but Fuego seems to do that. The formula is also just so good. It seems to last a long time on my skin, which a lot of highlighters seem to not. I just, I'm in love with it. And also like, I mean the packaging. Can we talk about how this is probably one of the more bougie packaging items I own? I feel fancy. Do I look dead inside? Staying along the same line, Becca Cosmetics is a fantastic brand that has a lot of really great cruelty-free products but my favorite is kind of an old standby champagne pop highlighter. How much do I love champagne pop? Let us count the ways. One, two, three. I bought it in three different iterations because I love it that much and I have gone through a significant chunk in all three of these. This one is also a golden tone, but it is more wet looking than the Fuego highlighter. It is just like dripping with moisture and beautiful. And again, this is one that I feel like looks good on a variety of skin tones. It is just a stunning, stunning highlighter. From Ofra Cosmetics, my favorite is also a highlighter, shocker, and it is from the Glow Up palette, but they do sell it as a single, and it is this guy right here, which is called Star Island. Now, while Star Island does definitely still have that golden undertone to it, it is much lighter and much more reflective. It gives off more of a white cast than a gold cast, so again, it really is bright. This is one of those blinding from space highlighters Every highlighter in this palette and Ofra Beyond, Beyond. The formula is really great, it's really creamy, and it's just beautiful, but Star Island has my heart. That's it for highlighters, I promise, I promise. Jumping into Urban Decay, Urban Decay obviously has been around for decades and they have so many cool products, unique, innovative, bright, colorful, glittery. And then my favorite happens to be a concealer. 
The Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer has been my go-to for years at this point. It is a very creamy concealer. So if you're looking for something that is super full coverage, this is not for you. It is creamy. It is a light to medium coverage. I adore it. I'm not 20 anymore, so my under eyes maybe are a little bit drier than most. So this kind of creamy concealer is what really does it for me. I absolutely love it. It does not oxidize, and it's commonly on sale for half off at Ulta. I don't know why. So that's why I have like I was six in my drawer, give or take. I feel like Anastasia Beverly Hills has been a really innovative brand lately. They've come out with so many cool palettes. They've come out with some great highlighters, things like that. But my favorite, again, is going to be an old favorite, and that is Dip Brow. I'm not giving you a close-up of this one because it's just gross. It is dented and it looks kind of nasty in the pot. But Dip Brow is obviously a colored pomade, and when I want that kind of crisp, sharp, Instagram brow, this is what I go for. Holds your brows in place all day. You will have to take this off at night if you put it on in the morning. It lasts forever. Love it. Fantastic. Let's move on. The next bunch of products are going to be a bunch of palettes. Jumping into Juvia's place, they are mostly palettes, but at the same time, they just came out with a whole foundation range that has a ton of shades. But my favorite is the Nubian One palette. You can see that mine is well-loved and for good reason. If I take one palette with me on an overnight trip or something, this is the palette I go for. It is just gorgeous. The quality and pigment of the shadows is stunning, especially for the price point, which is under 15 dollars most times and I just I'm in love with it I have hit pan on more than one shadow the colors all blend beautifully together I highly recommend this and what's strange is I see a lot of youtubers saying that this is their least favorite Juvia's Place palette I, I, I just I don't understand you ColourPop is another brand that has a million types of products. They have highlighter, they have liners, they have shadows, they have everything, but I always go back to the Yes Please palette. Again, very well loved, and let's be honest, my palette's kind of disgusting. These shadows have a strong pigment and a fantastic color payoff. If you're into warm shadows at all, this is gonna be your dream palette. Again, under $15, you can't go wrong with this. Everything I've tried from ColourPop for the most part has been fantastic, but the Yes Please palette is just next level. Do I smell something burning? God, that's nerve wracking. If you've watched even like one of my videos in the past, you know that my love for Sugar Pill is like strong. I've known Amy for many, many years now, more than either of us would probably like to admit, and I am just so proud of Sugar Pill's success that it is really hard for me to pick a single product that I love from them, but I'm picking a single shadow. That single shadow is Poison Plum, which is hands down the best purple shadow I've ever used. It is a bright, matte, rich purple that goes on smoothly. It blends with other colors seamlessly, just perfection. If you decide to have one purple eyeshadow in your collection, it needs to be Poison Plum. Just a fantastic shadow. I sound so emotional about purple eyeshadow. It's because I am. I've got one more palette for you, and that is from Melt Cosmetics. Now, Melt has come out with several eyeshadow palettes, but they also have the eyeshadow stacks. I have several Melt products, but you guys, it's about the Gemini. I don't know how much of that was just caught on camera, but one of the shadows just fell out and broke everywhere. Shit. Oh, it was goals. Crap. Damn it. Do I want to still include it on this list after that? I do. So here's the thing. The colors are amazing in this. The color scheme is my dream, but now two shadows have completely fallen out. One of them was Gemini, which is this bright kind of corally peach color that just shattered everywhere. And the other one just, just happened here on screen live. Huh? So I probably sound like a jerk recommending this product, but the thing is the colors are beautiful. There are these matte greens in there that not many companies have these olives that blend so beautifully with each other. Oh, I'm pretty pissed right now though. I guess if you're going to buy it, go like this and only hold it like this. Don't ever move it because it will break. Great. Guess I'm gonna have to clean all that up in a second, but anyway. Milk Makeup is one of my favorite makeup brands overall. They have fantastic skincare. Their makeup products are amazing. They're really good at creating these things in like stick form, like this is their cooling eye water stick. 
oh my god, it's amazing. But I have a tie between my two favorite products. I'm sorry, can't pick one. Of course, there is the Kush Mascara, which is my favorite mascara of all time as of right now. It really creates thick, long, long lashes. Love this. It does really, really bump up my lashes to the next level. I just, I'm obsessed. This is my second tube. Love it. But Milk also has a bunch of these little stamps, which are fantastic. They are just like, this one is the star stamp, which is my favorite. But it's such like a cool and little unique innovative product and a bunch of other brands have come out with them since. But I like Milk's the best. They don't bleed. The only issue with them is they do stain a little bit. But if you put on an extra helping of powder before you put these on, you'll be just fine, kid. We're in the home stretch, my friends. My camera keeps wanting to cut off and die, so we're gonna move this right along. From Pixie Beauty, you guys know that I love the Glow Tonic, but to be honest, a lot of their makeup, like their eyeshadows and things like that, have just not wowed me too much in the past. But as much as I love the Glow Tonic, I love this gloss even more. This is their Lift Lip Max Gloss in Honey Sheen, and it's just this beautiful rosy gold pink color that I love so much on top of a nude lip. It makes your lips look like so juicy and big and like, mm. just love it. Try out this formula. They smell divine. I think it's peppermint in there and just, they make your lips look so big and plump. Tarte is another brand that has a ton of different products and it's so weird to me that my favorite product is just a bullet lipstick. Now I'm in a panic because this lipstick is no longer available in Sephora, it's only available on the Tarte site which makes me think they're phasing it out. But this is the Color Splash Lipstick in Skinny Dip. Jamie Genevieve used to talk about this on her channel all the time before she created her own lipstick with MAC and she has said that this was the perfect nude da da da. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is a very light color, but if you go a little bit darker on the edges and pat this just in the center, oh my God, girl. Plus, it is crazy hydrating. It is so smooth and creamy on the lips that yes, it does not last all day. You will need to reapply this since this is just a bullet lipstick, but it is gorgeous and hydrating and got a little bit of a shine to it. Just oh, everything. Last, but certainly not least, you guys know I had to throw some glitter into the mix. Lit Cosmetics is one of my favorite glitter brands. They are just the pinnacle of glitter glam. And my favorite color is Magic Dragon. This glitter is green, it is blue, it is purple, it is gold. Depending on which side you're looking at it from, it just changes colors and is the most stunning glitter, frankly, that I've ever seen. The particles are fine enough that you can place this all over the lid without it being chunky, but at the same time, each particle is catching the light in such a stunning way that it's just, I mean, it's mind blowing. So that's it, you guys. I know this was a long one. Thanks for hanging in there, but that was 20 of my favorite products from 20 of my favorite brands in under 20 minutes. Let's hope this is actually under 20 minutes. Can I do it? Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below and tell me which products are your favorite from which brands. Tell me what I need to be checking out because I mean, I'm always on the hunt. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all Glitter Fallout. You are super freaking rock stars and I love you with my whole heart and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye.